Remove the engine cover, take the oil cap off, and then just lift up, pull it out. I'm gonna replace the cap because I don't want anything falling down. Flathead screwdriver or eight millimeter socket. You're gonna take the throttle body air damper hose off, loosen the clamps up. Now you're gonna take the air box lid off. There's a clip back here. And then you have seven Torx bits. They're T25. Six of them. And just lift up. Pull that out. Just set it aside. You don't have to take the connectors off. Now you can grab the air hose tubing and just push that aside. Canister vent solenoid is located back here. So we're gonna find the mounting bolt. So this is mounted just like this, right behind this throttle body. You have a 10 millimeter socket head. And you're gonna unscrew this and it's just gonna pop it out. The connector and the evap hose is on this end and this end goes into the intake. So with a 10 millimeter socket and extension, it's easy to get to, it's not hard. Just can't visually see it. So now the bolt is undone, I'm just gonna give it a little tug. And we can see it's really ready to come out. It's what's stopping it is the electrical connector. So I'm gonna just squeeze that tab, pop it off. Now I can bring it out around. And here is the evap hose. So we're gonna push in on that tab and lift. And that would be why we had a code. Let's pull that out, and there we go. Yep, there it is. And that's why I had an engine code. That piece just came right out without even trying. To reinstall, we're just gonna reverse the procedure. I'm going to put this line on first. Bring it, bring it around. I can line up that O-ring with the hole inside that intake, the seat, push it in. Hopefully start the bolt by hand. Okay, so I got started by hand. I'm just gonna snug it up. It just bottoms right out. Now I'm gonna install the electrical connector. I'm gonna take a quick look at it, make sure there's no broken wires that I can see of, and then we'll connect it. Yep, give it a little tug, it locked in. So now I'm gonna put the throttle body hose to the air box right back on for us. I like to put that on first because it's easier to line this one up. So these pins are going to line up with the hooks back here. So just give it a little tilt, line it up, and I can just pull this over that. Now pay attention to this bolt back here because it burnt me. It's got to be pushed up in order for them all to line up. See, that's a quick and easy way to do it. Flathead screwdriver. You can just take your flathead. Just walk it around. There you go. Just let it seat right in. It's got those notches that it lines right up with. I'm going to tighten the air box down with my 25 Torx bit. And there's six of them. I originally said seven. And then put that clip on. Make sure everything's connected. Now let's tighten these clamps down. Make sure there's no debris or is seated correctly because the car will not run correctly. It will gasp for air because you have a mass airflow sensor. There cannot be a leak, air leak between the throttle body and that mass airflow sensor. We're gonna clear our codes. Make sure your gas on any EVAP sensor is between three quarters and a quarter, not above and not below so it can run its evap test. Now we can reinstall our engine cover. There's a pin back here. Just put that rubber boot right on that, like that. The other one will come down and mount here. Take your oil cover off. Let them find their location. Give a push. And relocate your oil cap.